guys. I noticed some um, stuff on my, some paperwork on my desk today. It's like you guys registered as a team without smoking. May I ask why? Yeah. The reason for that was so that Crash Course could focus a little bit better on the team division. Yeah. He's changed a lot since the concussion. It allows me to focus managing on the team vision instead of spreading myself too thin, worrying about these guys in the team vision and smoking in the singles division. I advise Smokey to sign up for the Hellbound Championship match. Has he done it yet? Yes, he has. Great stuff, good ideas all around. Well, we have Sin to thank for that. Sin, really? That's yes. interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, I actually came here to see if you guys would be interested in um, signing up for a number one contender's spot and uh, help out. For the team titles? Yes, team titles. What, what kind of matches are going to be? I'm thinking tables. Do we have time to think about it? Yeah, but Hellbound's coming up, so I'll uh, try to get your interest in me by the end of the night. Yeah. You ready for your match? As ready as I'll ever be. Me too. All right. See you guys later. <laughs> yes, that's good. She had a tables match. What did she want? She wanted to know if we'd be interested in that. Team, um... Team number one contenders match? Yeah. Are you talking about? I've been hearing about, about that. Yeah? yeah? I've been hearing about that. So what was your answer? I told her we'd think about it. Huh? You said you'd think about it. There's nothing to think about here. This is a great opportunity. You're going to have FMJ and Asylum tied up with each other in a team title match. Uh, you got Rob Marsh, who's injured, so he and Lambo aren't going to be a team in this thing. And then you got PC, Sage, and Bianca, who cannot get along to save their lives. They're not going to coexist. You guys actually stand a really good chance of winning this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you make a good point. I'll sign us up. Oh, yeah. And where are you headed? I have a match. With who? Bianca and Katie. Who? Bianca and Katie is your first match? Is that bad? Well, Bianca's pretty tough. How do you know that? Well, we've been in the ring together. We scrapped. We fought. She's a tough girl. I should know. Broke her ankle. You broke her ankle? How did you do that? I threw a flax at her. But hey, don't worry about it. You can handle it. That's what I love about you guys. You guys have completely renewed my passion in WAW. That's what this whole team's all about. Anyway, you guys go out there, get your ass kicked, learn a valuable lesson. Isn't that why you guys are called Crash Courts anyway? No, actually, we just chose the name because we all graduated the WAW Development of Division together. No, 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 that's the wrong answer. You guys are Crash Courts because you go out there, get your asses kicked, learn a lesson from it. It is a Beautiful thing! I love it! Now, tonight, what you guys are going to do, you're going to go out there and you're going to show them what you got. You, go ahead. Show them what you got. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Goat! What have I told you about that? <laughs> Something's never changed in this place. Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. We just saw a little bit of an interesting uh, turn of events backstage. First, uh, Smokey is no longer a part of Crash Course. Crash Course is now only registered as uh, Mr. Happy and Jay Chill with Riley as their manager. And then we've got Smokey in the uh, singles division on his own. And now we've got a team tables, number one contenders match, possibly in the works. But let's take it down to the president. I love you guys. And you know who else I love? My girls, my WWE victims. Yeah. They always hold a special place in my heart. Now, as the queen of WWE, the first WWE victim, I try to set an example, which is why, as I'm sure you know, I get along with all of the WWE victims. a possible team number one contenders match with the table stipulation involved elimination style in the works moody star is going to try and find teams to sign up for this match and it looks like possibly through the guidance of sin 
that Crash Course is going to sign up for this tables match. That is still one of the most awkward situations I've seen from the War Machine. Seems like he's taking a liking to these newcomers, and I've never known Sin to be a big fan of newcomers, rookies, noobs, whatever you want to call them, here in WAW. Entering second, hailing from Manchester, New Hampshire, Riley! And speaking of Crash Course, Sim gave a pep talk to these guys, told Riley she can handle it, despite the fact this is her first match, and she's doing battle with Bianca Wild and Katie Duby. This is one hell of a first match for a rookie in Riley. She's gonna have her hands full here tonight. Hey, all the best to you, kid. Entering, entering third, Haley from Oakland, California. And here comes our final participant in this three Vixen elimination. It is Katie Doobie, the female phenomenon. She's been in Vixen matches before. She was in one at Annihilation 2006. She came up just short against Vempress, but Vempress gave her the handshake and kind of said, hey, I got other things to attend to. You're gonna be the uh, most dominant Vixen and it has stayed that way since the beginning. And here we go. This match is underway. We got Riley and Katie Doobie going after Bianca Wild. Double Irish whip on Bianca, sent off the rope. Double close line by Katie Doobie and Riley. Katie Doobie and Riley cheering it on with the fans. Now looks like we got a strategy session going on here. Bianca coming up from behind. Double noggin knocker. Katie Doobie and Riley's heads meet there. Bianca from behind with a roll up. We got a schoolboy. We got a count. And we get three. Riley has been eliminated from this Vixens match. Short night for Riley. Her first match here in WAW, and she is eliminated. And it is now down to Katie Doobie and Bianca Watt. Lock up in the center of the ring. Oh, we got a break there. Both ladies pushing away. Bianca catching Katie Doobie there. Forearm shots to the head, knee to the stomach. Bianca going for a scoop slam, and she hits it. Bianca making a mistake here. She should be staying on top of Katie Doobie. And not the way some of you sick, perverted internet fans are hoping. She needs to stay on top of the offense. She made a mistake there. And hopefully it doesn't come back and bite. And there it goes. Taking that one moment to yell at the fans. Came back to bite Bianca Wild right in the ass. And now she's getting slammed in the face by Katie Doobie with some hard punches. Katie Doobie continuing to hammer away. Just beating Bianca Wild around the ring here. She almost knocked her out of the ring with those punches. Bianca hits the corner. Here comes Katie Doobie and the back elbow, back spring elbow, excuse me, into a bulldog. And Bianca goes down off the bulldog. Katie Doobie now, she's in firm control. What do we got here? It's the backhand spring splash. Haven't seen that one in a while. We get a cover and we get three. Katie Doobie taking the victory here in this three Vixen elimination match here on Aftermath. Katie Doobie continuing to prove why she's called the female phenomenon and why she is arguably the most dominant Vixen in WAW's history. Nobody has made an impact in the ring like Katie Doobie since the days of Vempress. Coming up next here on Aftermath, it's going to be the return of Smokey to the ring against Troy Garba.